Well, uh, my name is Ron Singletary. I'm a full-time volunteer at the Landslide Community Farm that's located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the Hill District. We um, are a community farm that is dedicated to mutual aid. We are volunteer-based, volunteer-run. Um, every Friday we do a free community food serving, which has been really helpful for getting to know people in our neighborhood because they come by. It's located right next door to a local corner store, so it, it usually takes place right at the time of closing, so a lot of people come by. We've gotten to interact with a lot of, a lot of the kids in the neighborhood who get really excited, mostly about the iced tea that we serve. But um, it's nice to be able to just hang out and get to know the people that live around there. There's an older man that lives next door to there, and I usually have a conversation with them. And we've been doing that at that particular location for the last two months. Prior to that, we were doing our food serving in downtown, and there were um, more um, people in general that would come and eat, but there are more people that come and talk in this new location. And there are people that actually live in my neighborhood. And getting to know people who live near me lets me know what my community needs and lets me know what I need to be working towards in order to, you know, help community livelihood. I like that term. So I, I feel like community livelihood is really what my focus is. Um, you asked what brought me to do the work that I do. I was going to college um, in 2006 and no, I went to college in 2003. I'm older than that. And uh, I had to leave because of financial reasons. I had been studying um, creative expression and um, also realized that I, there wasn't anything I could do with an undergraduate degree in creative expression. I, at the time, wanted to go into art therapy, but I, I don't know, I just, I didn't feel comfortable in academia. I can't really put it any other way. Academia just did not seem like the place for me. So I came back to Pittsburgh after being in Roanoke, Virginia for school. Um, I started living in a cooperative house with some moderately wealthy people. And living in a cooperative situation seemed like the, the best thing to do. Um, supporting a single family lifestyle in single, like, atomized homes just never seemed like the way that I really wanted to go about living. I grew up. Um, in a lot of different apartment buildings. We moved really frequently. I never really knew my neighbors when I was a child. And I always longed for that. I always longed for a sense of community. I spent a lot of my childhood in white communities. And because of that also, I didn't really feel like a part of something bigger than myself. So as an adult, when I was trying to set up my own home situation, I really wanted to live with a bunch of other people who were like-minded to support each other in our endeavors in our life, financially, spiritually, emotionally, um, physically, in cases of people with you know, physical impairments at different times, you know, you can't necessarily do stuff for yourself. I just, I've never had any desire to live by myself. I've lived with my parents, I've lived with my cousins, I've lived with my grandparents, and I live with my friends and my, you know, spiritual comrades, I suppose. Um, I know all my neighbors now from doing this project. Helped start gardens in their front yard. And having that um, basic human need that we're meeting together is, is something that has brought us very much closer to one another. And having that feeling of friendship with my neighbors is something I never really knew how much you could miss because I hadn't had it before and now that I have it I couldn't imagine living without it. Um, I've definitely gotten over my fear because there's a lot of fear involved in getting to know people that you don't know that don't necessarily believe all the same things that you believe. Not everybody who lives around here is all for you know moving away from capitalism like I am but we all do need food and we all do appreciate knowing where our food comes from and being healthy people so being able to share knowledge with each other about gardening. Some of our neighbors have more gardening experience than we do. So we share that information, we share plants, we've given starts to people, we've gotten starts from people, we've given seeds to people, we've gotten seeds from people. And uh, it's just the best way that I could think of to live life.